so today's the last lecture and finally I'll talk about resurgence which was in the title yeah so what is resurgence uh, suppose we get a formal power series in variable which for us will be like Planck constant so we see n h to power n to infinity And it's called resurgent. It's actually, I don't know because it's really standard definitions. Maybe for this lecture, it's a definition. This is a general idea by Jean Ecal. About this, uh, that the resurgence is the following property. We make a Borel transform. It's actually La Laplace transform in inverse variables. So we get a new series, which is just divide n factorial by n coefficient by n factorial, and denote variable by lambda. Is first it should be convergent. Radius of convergence is strictly positive. Uh, that that means actually the following: that absolute value of C n is. Uh, uh, Cn is uh, O of n factorial minus constant n. So if you divide by n factorial, we get exponential growth. But and and more. So it's not only just convergent in neighborhood of zero and admits endless analytic continuation to. Uh, complex plane with coordinate lambda, uh, which means the following. There exists a uh, countable set, or maybe finite set, most countable set S in C, which is filtered. S is going to be reductive limit for some real numbers, S less than L. Uh, S less than L are finite. Those guys have growing system of finite sets. Eventually, it could be everywhere dense, but... Um, just C. Sir, it admits continuation to C, yes, to the line. Yeah, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, I will, I will, I will uh, finish the definition what that means is endless continuation. It means the following, that for any, um, uh, let's say, continuous pass, P from 0, 1, C, such that 0 goes to 0 and semi interval goes to C minus uh, SL. Uh, SL, maybe not continuous, but let's say, let's say smooth pass of length less than L. Uh, uh, so if I would find it in many points, I, I'll have analytic continuation of my function. Uh, uh, function of oh, this dc of lambda analytically continuous long pass. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry? What is C lambda? Oh, BC. It's a coordinate. It's a coordinate on plane. So it means that... Uh, C lambda, it's, uh, it's, uh, lambda means denotes how I denote the coordinate on this plane, you see, nothing else. Yeah, yeah so that's, yeah, in particular, uh, if you go just by straight pass from zero, by straight intervals, what you get? You get countably many rays. Maybe it will be more dense more and more, and you continue to the complement to, to this rays. And people on computer, if you do calculation using Pade approximation, it's immediately what you can uh, see uh, from Pade approximation. This race is falls off the approximation. But uh, that's, it's much more. So it means that you can go around and g again see the same picture. And singularities can, in principle, accumulate. Now, so, so I'll give. Uh, uh, a couple of examples. So 
two examples related to steering formula. So maybe some people already heard it. Yeah, so uh, steering asymptotic asymptotics. If you consider n factorial, then it goes to infinity, which is the same as gamma n plus 1. And we know that it's for large n, it has some asymptotic n to power n plus half, and exponent to n. And then we get series starting from 1. And we denote this series by sum over Cn, Hn, H bar is 1 over n. Okay. So we get the series. Uh, uh, also, people, uh, usually it's kind of not really pleasant coefficients. Usually people write its exponent of uh, uh, purely odd form power series. And these are Bernoulli numbers. Uh, um, and then one can make, uh, maybe remove the first, uh, divide by h bar. So start with 1 and denote by sum of cn bar hn will be, I, I have another series, uh, which will be sum over k equal to 1 to infinity Bernoulli number and then 2k, 2k minus 1 h to power 2k minus 2, so it will be 1 12 minus 1 360 h squared plus 1. Yeah, this is essentially the same series but shifted numbers. And um, so there are two uh, uh, series, c and c tilde, and claims are both c and c tilde are resurgent. And I can write your formula for this uh, Borel transform, for which immediately follows that it admits endless analytic continuation, uh, BC of lambda is the following. It's 1 over 2, 1 half, 2 pi i. And then I take contour integral uh, dx over x minus log x minus lambda minus 1, 1 half. The absolute value of x minus 1 is some kind of constant, integrator of a small circle, which is less than 1 and less than, less than let's say, square root of absolute value of lambda. So for small lambda, you define by this contour integral. And then uh, this contour can be deformed if you move lambda. Uh, so the uh, trouble in this. Uh, um, uh, the bet values of lambda will be 2 pi i z, it will be discrete set in this case. And for c tilde, uh, the formula is different for Laplace transform 1 lambda squared. It's lambda over 2 divided by hyperbolic tangent of lambda over 2 minus 1. Yeah, so it's pretty different formulas. Uh, yeah, in fact, mm, uh, this is kind of more recent one. Yeah, people, this, uh, this was f from s uh, for ages. And then uh, by some kind of calculus, how we make like product of a uh, resurgent function, if we want to prove this resurgent by some kind of convolution. And eventually one can try to prove that this guy is resurgent by formal means. Uh, but mm, uh, uh, this was a result by David Sawizin, uh, which kind of formally from deduced from this result from this one, but not this nice form. So uh, that's it's kind of uh, that's it's nice form. It's um, some extra beautiful story here. And uh, yeah, there's uh, still another class of resurgent functors, fu functions is the following. Suppose we get a polynomial in d variables, which is sum over xi square plus high order terms, which will be just some polynomial, cubic, whatever 
terms. And then for h bigger than 0, we consider integral of exponent minus u of x over h bar, x1, xn, and integrate over some disk, so like some sum over x. Exists. Suppose polynomial is some six squared is less than some r squared for some small r, and xi real integrate over small ball. So this will be dominating uh, a term, and then it will uh, it will have expansions some square root of two pi h bar to power d, multiplied by some series in h bar, and this series is again resurgent. And uh, Borel transform uh, as it's true. Uh, uh, it will be uh, a function. It will be solution of picard fuchs equation, kind of Gaussman, uh, essentially volumes of the level sets of polynomials, and singularity set is finite. It's a set of critical values, or maybe in general a sense of p. Ah, so that's all what we know, need about resources. Not, not isolated. Still not isolated, still critical values are finite set, even for non-isolated. You mean that this quadratic part can be zero? No, I, no, no, I don't. What, what do I said? It, it's quadratic plus high terms. It's automatically Morse, Morse point. Yeah. It doesn't have to be for the resurgence. Sorry? It doesn't have to, to be. No, P is a no, no, I don't know. Let me repeat. Okay. P is a polynomial starting is correct. I understand okay. what you said. I'm saying that there is a stronger structure. Which? Where it doesn't have to be more critical point. Yes, yes. No, there are more. Yeah, of course, there are many, many more examples. I just give you one example. Just. <laughs> definitely. Mm. Now, uh, now return to our mm, story with Foucault categories and uh, uh, th th stuff which I talked last last time. So recall that uh, from the last lecture uh, we start with. Uh, algebraic symplectic manifold satisfying some condition you get Lagrangian algebraic Lagrangian sub, sub manifold. I will, will not repeat all uh, business uh, here. Uh, then we get mm, various things which I didn't spell mm, well last lecture. So we have like lattice of relative second homology. Which maps to my boundary map to H1 and Z. And also it maps by integral of uh, mm, mm, uh, two form to complex numbers. Mm. And then, with this situation, we, we will do the following. We consider some twisted torus and ignore this. Torus T, uh, which was uh, C star to the rank of H1 of L. And uh, the torus will be, in fact, uh, home from uh, torus parameterizing local system on a uh, one dimensional local system on Lagrange manifold. So home from H1 LZ to C star. So we get this torus and consider trivial bundle. Of a germ of um, puncture disk, this uh, Planck constant. So we have this trivial bundle, and now we modify this. We make uh, some cuts on uh, cuts in H plane, 
in small disk, and along the cuts we modify this bundle. We, uh, we reglue uh, by some automorphism of the fiber, nonlinear automorphism, and reglue along certain cuts. It's R, uh, this uh, H bar belongs to exponent of E theta alpha are positive. The theta alpha is this collection of Uh, arguments of this race by transformation of the following way uh, type. Uh, uh, so, uh, by certain transformation, and we want to say what is a holomorphic section of a glued bundle. It will be this my nonlinear Riemann wheel problem. Some this is nonlinear Riemann Hilbert problem. Kind of uh, describe holomorphic sections of reglued reglued bundle uh, means the following. Mm, first of all, on we introduce some coordinates t1, whatever t2 will be coordinates c star valued coordinates on torus on the torus. Which is minus by t, and uh, now uh, to have a section, we should have a a uh, holomorphic function when h bar belongs to the sector. Holomorphic function, and if we cross uh, the boundary of uh, uh, it uh, belongs to sector, in fact, it extends to some uh, slightly larger sector and c infinity at zero. So we get a bunch of functions in slightly extended sector, and if we cross the sector, if we cross sector. Then we get the following transformation rule. T, T A, A of H bar goes to T A of H bar multiplied by one plus small corrections. And corrections will be a certain sum over, let's say, some uh, uh, mm, mm, Classes in gamma, this lattice gamma, uh, lying in some uh, in some strict uh, convex cones, uh, and certain coefficients depending of alpha, beta, and i. Suppose exponent minus z of beta divided by h bar by t to power boundary of beta of h bar. So, so what, what all this means? This is a monomial. Each element uh, boundary map gives a uh, uh, um, Element of first commodity, which is a uh, lattice of characters of torus. So we get some monomial on a torus. And we take product of this ti to various powers. Uh, and then multiply by, uh, by the term. And what I assume that these terms will be exponentially small. So this cone will be such that all these things will be very, very, very small when I approach uh, uh, zero along the ray. OK. And coefficients grow at most exponentially. What power t in t? Sorry? T is the power which is not tradable. Boundary of beta. Boundary of beta is element of this lattice, and this is lattice of characters. It gives a function, it gives a monomial on a torus. Yeah, so we get mm, uh, such Riemann Hilbert. Yes, did you explain the cone C alpha? Certain cone C alpha, yeah. I, I multi, uh, what I um, 
what uh, originally wall crossing uh, gives, it gives infinitely many rays and uh, I, I get uh, some kind of cone sitting in upper planes. But then I, multi I said I can multiply uh, all uh, transformations in some sectors and get certain convex cones, give some certain cones. Yeah, yeah, so it's pretty mm, abstract. Uh, I, th I think I should give at least one example. Uh, example will be the following. X is C2 with coordinates X and Y and form is dx dg dy. And Lagrangian submanifold is uh, elliptic curve, or punctured elliptic curve, given by x squared is x cubed minus 1. Uh, yeah, so it's more like correspond to equations x of so dx squared <coughs> plus some correction of some functions. That you look on such differential equation and you put correction depending on h bar in holomorphic way. Kind of h bar corrections. Like this. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, whatever this is, relative homology and uh, lattice, uh, all these lattices are Z2, and this is H1 of elliptic curve, and uh, of L, which in incidental H, H1 of compactification. It's just one punctured elliptic curve. Um, and mm, uh, this period lattice, it's, uh, 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 if you make integral, you get hexagonal lattice. <coughs> you get hexagonal lattice. And uh, uh, so, what is the lattice? Like? Um, this if you consider map from Z2 by period map to C, uh, this integral of by the period map action in the Q. Yeah, or whatever, yes, it's or integral of, because it's, it's the same as Comolge of pair H2. Yeah, it's all these lattices coincide, it's Z2. And if you consider period map from in, in, the, in the last model to C, then you get hexagonal lattice. And mm, what is uh, kind of original wall crossing picture gives you the following diagrams. Diagram. It gives you six rays, kind of it will be 60 degrees. Mm, and Mm, the transformation, if you go from here to here, you get maybe T1 and T2 goes to T1 uh, times 1 plus exponentially minus some constant divided by h bar to T2 over T2. So, uh, and uh, you get this nonlinear map if you go this way with a constant. I can be totally precise here. The constant is um, twice the integral of exponent of minus 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3. Uh, okay. It's some real constant. Yeah, so you get this transformation, and all story repeats uh, if I apply uh, uh, hexagonal symmetry at other rays. Mm. Yeah, so you get uh, a certain Riemann Hilbert problem for this uh, cubic uh, potential. Uh, by the way, uh, these transformations are birational maps, yeah? And if you apply these birational maps and go back, you get not identity map, you get uh, Transformation of order five. Uh, yeah. This picture is inside H two. It's in, inside C. No, this picture inside C C H. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, 
Ah, by the way, I just want to say that, uh, uh, what about this example? Uh, in fact, one doesn't need this all uh, ideas of Fouquet categories and so on. It's kind of our organizing principle. But in principle, it's kind of uh, this all obvious a priori, because if you have equation and put small parameters, you look, consider stocks data for this. And then in different sectors, you get um, various, uh, you get control of solid axis, it should draw exponential things, and ti will be ratio to this exponential small factors, will be size of, uh, numbers of size one. And then if you go from one description to another, you apply this transformation. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's, um, it comes from compactification of moduli space, of, uh, of Betty moduli spaces, and nothing else. Mm. Yeah, here one have uh, six rays, but in fact, uh, one can make just uh, one make six cuts on a uh, H plane. But in fact, one can make just two cuts. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in this case, uh, for example, uh, you have this transformation from um, all these three rays, uh, but the composition of this transformation will be a bit more complicated um, by rational map, will be convergent along, uh, still will be convergent along the, the horizontal cut. We can just can combine, uh, uh, make a tra uh, transformation here, which is composition of such transformation, can make, make smaller cuts, just uh, and in general one can go to, even in very wild situation, will go to Something like three cuts at the end of the day. But two, is not two, two is not enough. Three S uh, in general station when the image of this map is everywhere dense, uh, you get. Three cuts. Oh, or maybe before I'll go on, I just want to say that. Uh, Generalization. I just want to make some uh, things that I want to call claim, but I didn't really prove it. Let's call it conjecture. That uh, whenever you make uh, uh, such finitely many cuts and, and such gluing, then uh, then what happens? And consider any holomorphic section, any solution of Riemann Hilbert problem for any holomorphic section. Uh, 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 the following will hold. So first of all, T of H of H bar in each sector uh, I assume that my function uh, has kind of like, uh, like infinity behavior, so it has tail, tail expansion at zero. Uh, so it means that it will be sum over T i n H to power n and this tin are independent on sector. So you get formal power series, which does depend on sector because uh, you glue by stuff which has zero Taylor expansion, exponent one over h bar. Yeah, so it's, mm, it's a formal power series at h bar. And conjecture, this series and as well as logarithm of the series because uh, leading term is non-zero, uh, it's I still uh, lie in the torus, c, all, uh, c star valued function. Uh, uh, this series and uh, logarithm are uh, both resurgent. Uh, in fact, this is from some point of view, it's more natural to uh, because you don't multiply stuff, you add stuff in, in this uh, variable field change the basis. So you should have a bound in the number of disks. I have this, no, I consider the series uh, with coefficients growing exponentially. Ah, this is a condition. It's a condition, yeah. yeah. The only condition I need, I need, I need this strict cones and exponential bounds, nothing else. And then uh, conjecture that you get uh, resurgent uh, things from, uh, by some kind of, for free. 
And, and this will be a pretty special class of resurgent functions, resurgent series, because in general definition you don't say uh, uh, what's the density of the sets and so on. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a very specific class of functions. Uh, uh, I can tell you uh, something. Uh, what do you mean for free? I mean, you, you, you need to have this bound. No, for bound. No, no. In, under this analytic condition, uh, forget about LT and so on. Just let's consider any uh, bunch of numbers with exponential growth. Uh, so what will be this set S? Uh, the set S uh, will be uh, image image of uh, gamma to integral of v, which is also called central charge. It's, uh, it will be a f uh, infinite rank, a finite rank lattice, but uh, if genus of, uh, uh, let's say, curve L is very big, it will be everywhere dense. Uh, yeah, so the question how this filtration, all stuff, comes into the game, and kind of uh, uh, first cuts, you get uh, if you ext uh, try to uh, extend a long race, you get only uh, just kind of discrete subset of uh, C, uh, the starting point of this race, and containing starting points of race on what people called first uh, sheet of analytic continuation. Uh, analytic continuation. It will be discrete subset. And this will be, uh, um, in geometric situations, it'll be, uh, it will be all betas, z of betas, uh, which appear in this uh, summation. It will be contained in set of all z beta. Beta appears in expression. So, but what means? There is first sheet, there should be second sheet. Yes, yes, yeah. One should kind of really analyze uh, how we can go around uh, how the singularities will. Any idea about the appearance of the singularities on the further sheets? Uh, yeah, not, not, not yet. Yeah, I don't have to really to analyze it. But uh, my, my claim is that it's this geometry should guarantee uh, the whole story. Mm. Yeah, so what is a rough idea why it should be true? Kind of, uh, this all. Uh, mm, mm, first, one can uh, look on a, uh, it's kind of not exactly this equation, but uh, some toy version. Uh, linear, uh, we get, uh, here we get non-linear maps, suppose we get some linear maps, and... Uh, it appears in the sum for all these... Yeah, in all these expressions, yeah. Mm. Uh, let's consider toy and linear finite dimensional model, uh, a Riemann-Hilbert problem. Mm. Suppose again we get some finite collection of rays, and we get, and we are interested in, uh, we want to modify trivial vector bundle. And vector bundle, kind of c to the power of m, again, spec of c of h, spec of c of h. And uh, I will write you what is the Riemann-Hilbert problem. We should find some function for i, for i from 1 to m, and h is in sector, and again, slightly larger sector same conditions, and when we cross the sector, cross uh, the line, we should go to certain uh, psi i of h plus exponentially small corrections mm. 
exponent minus certain numbers i j alpha h bar times some uh, some constant times j of h bar and all these things should be uh, fast decaying along uh, mm. uh, the ray. Uh, Yeah, then one can. Uh, s uh I think of these z's and c's as just sort of some constant, some uh, values of central. Yeah, maybe small z. It will be value uh, some some complex numbers, and uh, just I want the things to be exponentially decaying along the rays. Um, and then one can write a basis of holomorphic sections. Yeah, this was uh, written by Chicotti and Waffa. Um, uh, basis C I J. Uh, uh, so we get section. C I J of H bar. Uh, J denotes the numbering of this basis element and this uh, uh, the coefficients will be delta <laughs> ij. If we know such correction, we get just a uh, constant section. And then add infinite sum, sum over <coughs> k greater than 1, 1 over 2 pi, pi square root of minus 1 to power k. And here we get, should get integrals of, uh, yeah, maybe I need more room. Uh, maybe I'll just remove this example. Yeah, so this is And mm. yeah, yeah. You, you kind of uh, it, uh, let's see the like Newton method of fixed points. Uh, you substitute psi equal to one first. Uh, uh, first approximation will be delta kind of constant section, but then you substitute here constant section and want to fall form using uh, residue cell, uh, solution. Then substitute it, it itself and so on, and then get certain formula. Some OK greater than one. One over two pi. And you get integral over certain variable which I denote h1 hk. Uh, and mm. it's st still more complicated formula than I thought. take summation of sequence of rays, uh, alpha will be uh, uh, rays, exponent with certain mm. slopes, and you integrate <laughs> e zero e one uh, alpha zero divided by h H one H one A K divided by H K and we integrate H zero minus H one. And h i belongs to exponent uh, 
yeah, ideally one should write something like this, and maybe I take some interval. The R is fixed, constant, mm. so one can mm, do uh, things like this. But uh, 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 what can happen is that alphas can coincide, and the sequence one should move a little bit the contour. Yeah, so that's essentially the formula what one get. Uh, uh, you didn't explain z pi with exponents. These are numbers. What? what? I have numbers depending i, j, and alpha. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry? Oh, maybe there are puts also c's, yeah, and put product of c's, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and arranging uh, R or uh, yeah, this things will be convert. Uh, yeah, this convergence it's uh, kind of easy to easy to understand of the things. It's, it gets some solution, and from this solution we get uh, kind of, of um, by hand certain resurgence because each term individual uh, you you get certain uh, absolutely convergent sum, and each term has some asymptotic expansion h bar equal to zero. Uh, and this asymptotic expansion will be resurgent uh, uh, by its own means. And you get kind of infinite sum of resurgent things and it will be absolutely convergent. And you get kind of mm, not... Mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, it's a bit hard way to see uh, that you get analytic continuation. And you will not see this, you get actually nice monodromia, uh, uh, like in other examples. Mm. Where is this J? I mean, I... Uh, J, uh, no, J, it's, uh, it's uh, solutions number J. Section number J. It's a coordinate of Psi. Ah. Yeah, because the basis, yeah, yeah. You have a basis space of solutions, and uh, for each number I should get a collection of functions. Yeah. yeah, so that's uh, uh, how one can do finite dimensional station. And uh, then Gajota Murunetsky uh, uh, proposed the following that if you do nonlinear changes of coordinates, linear transformations of of tori produce linear transformations of uh, algebra functions on the torus of a kind of uh, c t1 of algebra Laurent polynomials uh, which has a basis monomials it, yeah so, so so it gets kind of infinite rank bundle and one can try to repeat the situation and uh, uh, apply the same formulas and it still seems to get exponential growth and uh, convergence. That's a rough idea why the whole story should work. Do I remember correctly that you cannot fix R? Sorry? In that story you cannot fix just one R as you did in final. Well, for large R, you get uh, yeah something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the whole. Uh, uh, yeah. By the way, this non-linear, uh, all these transformations called uh, this is called four-dimensional. Wall crossing because it's related to vacua in some four-dimensional field theory. This is two-dimensional wall crossing, and this uh, uh, kind of like Kantsevich Sobelman wall crossing formula and Chikoti Waffa wall crossing formula. Yeah, so it's also a related story. And uh, then there is a way to kind of really combine four uh, this linear, finite dimensional linear and uh, kind of four-dimensional nonlinear. Uh, things in uh, one package. 
uh, now uh, the story is the following. Mm. All this, uh, suppose we have now two Lagrangian submanifolds in X. Mm. Then we get two bundles, T1, uh, over CH bar and T2, over spec of CH. We have two bundles, and uh, when we modify using the scuds, we describe objects in Fouquet categories. Uh, this will be parameterized object uh, of Fouquet uh, with modifications along cuts. Along cuts. Yes. Complex story, yeah, yeah. Get, uh, describe objects in Fouquet category depending on h bar when h bar is non zero. Very small. fibers of modified bundles will be only space of objects. Now we can consider what are homes between these two objects. And home between two objects are, um, are roughly the following. Suppose L1 intersect L2 transversely in finitely many points. Then for generic H bar, for generic H bar uh, homes are essentially given by intersection points or fibers of local system intersection points. Homes of two objects one and object two correspond to some local system will be sum over I will write C L1 intersect L2, but it's kind of fake, it's not uh, uh, C, uh, it will be more precisely sum of one dimensional spaces, fibers of local systems homes for fibers for local systems. And it's actually not home, but x n uh, in where uh, n is dimension manifold. In the general station for transversal intersectionality, you get uh, only high x groups. There will be no uh, differential, floor differential here. Mm. And then uh, when trouble will happen, uh, suppose we get two Lagrange manifold, L1, L2, we get some intersection points, I don't know, x1, x2, and uh, the trouble mm. uh, happens uh, if you get a holomorphic disk with boundary o o on, uh, on this union, so you get uh, a certain lattice, maybe called gamma 1, 2, which will be h2, x l1 to z to c. You still can uh, you get a um, bad trace. Uh, this is a little bit too rough. One maybe for each two point one consider uh, homotopic classes of disks. You, you get certain torsors. And uh, the whole story will kind of repeat. Mm. Get uh, roughly speaking, you get. Uh, 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 basis of X groups uh, will be points which are XI's is intersection point. Uh, and if you cross the ray, uh, when uh, you have them this big, big di disks, uh, then for the Riemann Hilbert problem, we get. Uh, transformation something like this C A of H bar goes C H of H bar. Uh, maybe I if you get let's say A1 and A2 uh, plus mm, maybe exponent minus area of the disk. Uh, uh, of the disk times C I2 of H bar. And this exponent, because it can have infinitely many things, it will be uh, uh, maybe you can write it some kind of constant times product of uh, t to some powers, or if it's 
kind of very big uh, f fundamental, uh, if the disk has big area, you can write it's kind of small area plus area of certain mm, powers of t. Yeah, no, it's a bit long story, if it's torso, but roughly you get kind of mixture of mm, two stories. You get not um, only nonlinear change of coordinates, but also automorphism of vector bundles. And that gives uh, rise, uh, and uh, the generation of this conjecture is that all this new series will be again resurgent. So there are two types of functions, uh, homes and parameters on moduli spaces. The both of them are resurgent, and mm, mm, yeah. Possible to distinguish hope from the facts? Ah, no, uh, no, there's no facts here. It's all, all hopes, yeah. Okay, so, so it's very easy. Uh, And for this game with two Lagrange manifolds, one can, mm, um, in principle, deduce many uh, things. For example, let's say L1 is equal to L, and X is cotangent bundle. Uh, so we have this L. But uh, for L2, we take cotangent fiber at some point Y, where A is parameter, Y is parameter. So we make this intersection, and uh, mm, this uh, x spaces will correspond to intersection points, and it will be uh, various solutions, and uh, you get uh, like intersection points. Points give some WKB solutions, and uh, eventually one get. Uh, res uh, uh, resurgence res of this WKB solutions. Yeah, you write, uh, for example, solution equation which has some behavior at some infinity and consider behavior at some point, it grows exponential something, and then it gets form power series. And this form power series will get again this factorial growth by uh, the same story. And oh, another possibility is the following you take L1 is equal to L, but L2 it will be zero section. So it means that your interest can in a different question in kind of cohomology with coefficients in uh, D mo uh, are, are home from uh, uh, O to some D module. And uh, mm, just uh, one brief example, when Y is C star, this coordinate, let's say Z, uh, let's L1 will be graph of dz uh, 1 plus 1 over z, uh, something like this, and 1 minus 1 over z, and L2 is zero section, graph of zero form. Um, mm, L1 intersected L2 is just one point, uh, is equal to zero. Mm. And uh, comparing Fukai category and uh, kind of uh, and uh, D modules, we get comparison between Betty and Dramkomolge, and we get essentially some function of H bar. And this function of H bar. So, sorry, I'm trying to intersect them with z equal zero is not z equal one. Sorry, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. Um, and when you try to interest, uh, and uh, in this case, there will be no nonlinear change of uh, coordinates because uh, um, both varieties are genus zero curves. There's no uh, first cohomology is zero. But you still get uh, a linear change of uh, uh, coordinates for these homes. And uh, what uh, this whole story reduced to? We consider h bar plane, 
I can see the function, let me say right, of h bar, and real part of h bar bigger than zero, it will be the following. It will be gamma of one plus one over h bar. And the formula is essentially written here, divided by square root of two pi, one over h bar to power one over h bar plus one half. Okay. You consider this uh, 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 stuff, and you define function in a right uh, left half plane uh, by one over or one over h bar for the part of h bar less than zero. So you get function one here, one here, and it will be two cuts, vertical line. And function actually extends a little bit uh, through the cut. And then if h belongs to r on a, on a one ray, we have uh, the following that we have, if I'm not confused, f right is equal to c left multiplied by And if h belongs to negative ray, now this will be exponentially small term along vertical ray, and, to, and here it will be exponential to sm small term along negative ray. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, mm, how gamma function uh, appears in this. Situation. Mm. Uh, uh, so, mm. uh, I will be kind of very uh, brief here. Uh, ah, when I explain about uh, gave example of resurgent functions was a, a, a third example. Uh, last example was integral of exponent of polynomial divided over h bar. And in fact, one can uh, try to pursue this idea. This will be kind of like pass integral interpretation of all this resurgence and why we get. And it will be give kind of better control of monodromia for this all uh, um, this Barrett transform uh, is the following. Suppose we have this two manifolds L1, L2 sitting in X, and then we consider the following big space X, it's a space of maps, um, like say, say infinity maps, say, uh, from 0, 1. To x, f of zero belongs to one, belongs to two. It's kind of pass uh, space of pass connecting all these uh, Lagrange manifolds. It's infinite dimensional complex manifold in certain sense. And on this manifold, we get a one closed one form, closed holomorphic one form. Uh, let's call it know, new which is integral of 0, 1 of pullback of two form uh, on, we can evaluate on families and get one, f one form. Uh, this over the integral, you pull push, yeah, to form integrate over integral, you get one form, yeah. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. On universal cover, This pullback of omega of nu will be differential of some function. And uh, roughly want to kind of calculate the integral of s of h bar uh, uh, over this on, on this universal cover. And we, uh, and we integrate it over left shot symbols in this infinite dimensional space.
uh, this left shot symbol started some critical points of S. And critical points are zeros of nu. And zeros of nu are only finitely many. It's just constant map to intersection points. Yeah, so, uh, so you get exactly this uh, things corresponding to Holmes in, in, in my, uh, in Foucault categories. Uh, and then if you rotate H bar, this left shift symbol start to uh, sometimes change the topology. Uh, so it's, uh, it's will be, looks like you get two dimensional wall crossing formula, uh, like uh, story with left shift symbols. Uh, but in fact, uh, what is the origin of this nonlinear changes of coordinates? And the uh, rough idea is the following. Uh, when we have this uh, field, uh, uh, it's quite a quantum mechanic problem, or it's kind of infinite dimensional integral, we can twist it, the story, by rank one local systems here. So that's not only one question, but many integrals to calculate when it twist by local systems. And local systems, uh, for example, given by taking local system of rank one, uh, one and L2, and two endpoints, take pullback. Yeah, so you get. Um, uh, equation depending on uh, parameterized by product of two tori. And uh, the remarkable story here is that it's in this infinite dimensional situation, the space of local systems, it's kind of became regularized if you, uh, if you change parameters and change it and um, it became non-linear manifold. It will have no abelian group structure. Yeah, that's a, a very bizarre uh, story here. Mm. Mm. So roughly speaking, you can consider gradient lines for this uh, 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 complex valued functional S. Uh, then you go gradient lines from one point to another and usual um, mm, uh, kind of story with left symbols, if you change parameters, you, you can kind of, it can break since it's product of two paths. Uh, but what is this nonlinear change? It says the following. If you change the parameter, then suddenly this your pass uh, 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 became uh, extra, uh, have extra length, yeah, extra, uh, extra loop. Yeah, this will be kind of sudden change from one pass to another. Uh, and, and, and if you interpret this pass as a holomorphic uh, disks, what happened? This one, st this holomorphic disk is a map from such guy. The usual story is that this decompose in one way. Uh, it will be one problem of generation, but this things correspond to uh, this type of degeneration of holomorphic disks when you de develop this loop. Yeah, so that. Uh, 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 some kind of infinite dimensional topology, which eventually should explain uh, uh, um, monodromy of this Borel transform. Not just uh, uh, I, I, what I claim is that applying this step by step procedure by recurrent formula, you don't get really understanding of the right monodromy, and it will be a sort of understanding at, at once which, um, to this infinite dimensional topology. Yeah, no, this, uh, this end is continu continuation. Holonomy, yeah, you get certain representation of fundamental group to infinite matrices with integer coefficients. Yes. In infinite type variation of the code Yes, yes, something, yeah, yeah, something like this, yeah. Yeah, in fact, the story is uh, uh, really much more complicated than even this guy, uh, thing. Uh, what I uh, uh, in my stories, L, L was always reduced and smooth. But L could be have nil potence, uh, this uh, support of Higgs bundle or singul singularity. It could be like this curve, for example. Mm. And I claim that in this situation, one get new new types of asymptotics. Now, suppose get singular L. And imagine that L is a, a, a limit at h bar to zero of some L h bar, 
which is holonom holomorphic family in H bar, and all L L H R are smooth and reduced. So you kind of interpolate it by like cusp curve by smooth curves. And now you do the following. You integrate, take cycle lattice depending on h bar, will be h2 of x h bar. It will be a local system of lattices over c star with h bar. Now, now have not one lattice, but some uh, lattices with non-trivial monodromy. And the central and the central charge will be not uh, mapped to complex numbers. I'll get z h bar, which will be analog of a one of h bar z in, uh, in if l is smooth. It will be mapped from gamma h to what to You consider mm, piezo uh, 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 series and consider only negative part, but this piezo series form again local system of abelian groups of a C star, and this will be a locally constant map. Uh, so to, uh, what I want to say is that if you consider volumes of disks, you get something like x to maybe minus pi four six, not not over one. You get some exponents a b, which be belong to the interval from zero to one. Uh, uh, for this collapsing family of Lagrangian varieties. And uh, th then the whole story can be repeated, but uh, there is no explanation for this uh, through this pass integral story. You get completely different, or, or maybe it should be, maybe, maybe I'm wrong here, yeah, in pass integral forms also can get various powers of h bar in degenerate cases. No. Yeah, so. Uh, Mm, mm, uh, that will be for general family of equations. You get much more complicated story and m m m bigger class of uh, gluing equations. And for this bigger class, it's not reasonable to make Laplace transform at all because it will be not. To, uh, uh, you get different exponents, so Laplace transform will be not totally adequate uh, 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 tool. But still, you get some nice class of formal power series, which uh, from all this geometry. And maybe last, last kind of remark. Uh, it's about twister. Maybe this. It's, uh, uh, yeah, suppose uh, we kind of go through all these troubles, even through this fractional powers uh, story. So it means we, we compactify the family of Foucault categories at zero. We consider what are all possible limiting objects, it will be maybe degenerate Higgs bundles and stuff like this. Now we can apply uh, to the following situation. Suppose we have complex manifold with a holomorphic algebraic symplectic form, and to get this class beta zero uh, in H2, X, this least class, which I usually always have. Then, uh, for large value of parameter r, uh, we do the following. We consider co multi class depending on h bar in the following form. It will be uh, r times omega divided by h bar plus i times b0 plus r omega bar such bar. It's a class in H2 x c multiply i z. I get a family of parameters for kind of non commutative spaces. And uh, if you look on this thing, you get real imaginary part. Real part of this thing, it's always, always symplectic. R is some number, just for converse. Maybe we can ignore this. Yeah, let's, let's forget no, about. No, Sir? You cannot ignore. Yeah, but, um, I'm, I'm not, I do not really know examples, and I cannot ignore. Uh, 
Uh, yes, yes, yeah, we, we were right, yeah. Uh, well, well, the symplectic if each air bar is between zero and each bar not equal to zero infinity. Uh, yeah, so, so uh, and all the formalism kind of works. You get family, you get family of Fouquet categories. And the property is that Fouquet category of minus one over h bar is Hermitian conjugate to Fouquet category at h bar. What does it mean Hermitian conjugate? It is opposite to complex conjugate category. So for, 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 cat for categories of uh, complex numbers, one can, you know, algebra, one can speak about Hermitian conjugacy. Because uh, this c over minus one over h bar is equal to minus c over h bar. Because of this property, you get this uh, symmetry. And uh, all this machinery uh, glue, uh, gives the gluing of this uh, family of category to h bar equal to 0. By symmetry, you get gluing to h bar equal to infinity. And you get kind of twister family of categories. Uh, and uh, one can speak now about harmonic object as holomorphic sections with satisfying these reality conditions. Uh, uh, actually, I have to leave in, in, in uh, two minutes, so uh, I don't have too much time for the question. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, so one can speak about holomorphic um, uh, here kind of harmonic metrics, and uh, in case of cotangent bundle, we get exactly Mochizuki theory about harmonic metrics on d modules, whatever it is. And if you analyze the number of parameters, it looks like it's a universal family of uh, uh, mm, uh, 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 this omega and uh, B0 point rise universally all possible, at least in the neighborhood, twister families of categories. So it will be, uh, it includes usual hyperkähler geometry as a particular case. Okay, thank you. And